Well, first of all, let me congratulate the Chinese. They are following the United States step by step. And as you pointed out, they're still 30, 40 years behind the United States, but they're leapfrogging into the future. In our quest to understand the cosmos and to study our celestial neighbors, scientists have found something really peculiar. This strange thing, originating from the moon, has captivated the attention of both scientists and space enthusiasts. This finding might just change our very perspective about the moon, and it has the potential to solve our energy crisis as well. What is this strange material? How did we discover it? And more importantly, how can it solve our energy problems? Join us as we explore what strange thing China found on the moon that has astonished scientists all around the world. China dove into space exploration in the late 1950s, hitching a ride on the coattails of the Soviet Union. On April 24, 1970, they proudly flung their first satellite into orbit. From there, it was a slow and steady technological climb, hitting their first major lunar spotlight in 2007 after Chang'e W. China's lunar orbiter swung into lunar orbit just a dozen days after liftoff. Not many paid attention at first, and it was only after Chang'e dazzled everyone with fresh lunar intel that people worldwide gave China's space journey a standing ovation. But China didn't stop there. They built their own space station, a cosmic sibling to the ISS. This cosmic expansion made China's space station the newest modular playground, with China gearing up to lead the interstellar charge, and especially as it was beginning to make waves in the world of space exploration. Additionally, China kicked off 2019 with an even cooler achievement. On January 3rd, they landed a rover on the mysterious dark side of the moon, capturing even more enigmatic images of our cosmic neighbor. These pictures gave us a view from the rover's perspective, showing not just the moon's dark side, but also the lander that brought the rover there. Now China's got big plans for the moon. Many orbits around the moon revealed that its two sides are like day and night. The side facing us has more flat lunar seas, while the other side is like a crater-covered wonderland. It's like having two different moons. Scientists now believe the far side of the moon is hiding some secrets, and it's thicker over there than on the near side. But we won't know for sure until someone checks it out in person. And China did just that with the Chang'e 4 mission. It was launched on December 7th by a powerful Long March 3B rocket. It soared from the Xichang Launch Center in the southwest, and since its landing, it's been on a quest to explore the untouched realms of space and run some cool science experiments. Chinese scientists dropped a bombshell in their report from the mission that shocked everyone, unveiling a sticky substance found by the moon rover U-22 in a lunar crater. They poured over images cross-referenced with Apollo samples. It's our classic moon rock, but with a twist. It's a rock that's gone gooey, likely from a meteoric smooch. They called this lunar enigma a dark greenish, glowing impact melt rock breccia. It was discovered in the von Karman crater, hanging out on the far side of the moon, away from the hustle and bustle. The researchers compared the moon rover's snapshots with samples from the American Apollo missions. They found that this mysterious greenish object resembled the Apollo samples, hinting that it might have formed in a wild lunar collision. Moving on to a more recent time, on December 1, 2020, the Chang'e 5 mission, launched from the Wenchang spacecraft launch site in China's Hainan province, successfully landed on the moon. After a victorious separation from its orbiter companion, Chang'e 5 lander gracefully set foot in a lunar hotspot known to scientists as Oceanus Priscillera. It's a vast, flat region near the lunar equator, hanging out on the far side of the moon, flaunting extreme breadth and the close company of the towering 5250-foot-high Mons Rumker. Now, the Chang'e 5 mission wasn't just a joyride, it had a laser-focused objective. Weighing in at nearly 8 tons, this lunar explorer was tasked with bringing back samples from the moon. This was monumental as it had been the first time in nearly four decades that lunar samples were being brought back to Earth. On December 17, 2020, the return capsule made its grand entrance into Earth's atmosphere, gracefully touching down in the vast, scarcely populated landscapes of Mongolia. With the samples now safely in hand, the experts wasted no time diving into their work, fueled by a clear sense of excitement. These lunar samples just threw a curveball into our lunar daydreams. 
this rover found the unthinkable on that tiny, inconspicuous celestial ball we call the moon, water, and lots of it. Whilst they were playing with drill samples from Change 5, they stumbled upon a bunch of tiny glass particles. These little crystals probably popped up when meteorites crashed into the moon. Some comets might have hitched a ride too, bringing water along for the lunar party. The researchers took a good look at those impact glass beads, and they were in for a major surprise. Turns out, hidden inside those beads was water. Each tiny bead only holds a bit of water, but when you put them all together, it's like a lunar water extravaganza. These beads are so small, not even a millimeter in size. Now you might be wondering, how did this water come to be? Well, the moon has been getting bombarded by comets, asteroids, and meteorites for billions of years. It's like a lunar water party that no one knew about. It turns out the moon might have a bunch of water all over the place, from the equator to the poles. This means that when people eventually head to the moon, they don't have to make a beeline for the poles and go through all the trouble of dealing with icy water there. Instead, they can find water pretty much anywhere on the moon. Furthermore, scientists think that it might be made from the sun. According to them, the sun's positively charged hydrogen atoms somehow got into these glass beads and mixed them up with the oxygen inside. It's like the sun left a little water surprise for the moon. Now, those glass beads tell the secret of more than just water. The latest jaw-dropping discovery might just spark a mad dash to the moon. The samples the Chinese space probe snagged are one of a kind. Pulled from deep layers, they're a billion years older than any samples nabbed from the surface during the American Apollo program. These glass beads, shimmering quietly, have been shaped over an unimaginable span of two billion years. Picture colossal collisions with meteorites, asteroids, and comets, each impact similar to the force that obliterated the dinosaurs 68 million years ago. The moon, despite its small celestial stature, has endured these global onslaughts with surprising resilience. Scientists speculate that the moon owes its survival to a combination of factors, including its lightweight construction and a protective layer of thick dust. It's almost like the moon is a cosmic survivor, adorned with beads that tell tales of celestial battles and triumphs over the eons. And the story doesn't end here. Chang A5 stumbled upon another moon treasure, a crystal that's like the lunar version of a hidden gem. This isn't just any crystal. It's like the moon's own little secret, made of a material that no one on Earth knew existed. When scientists got their hands on this lunar rock, they were both mind-blown and speechless, because this crystal turned out to be a game-changer. It's got the key ingredient for nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion is like a cosmic dance where lighter atomic nuclei come together to form heavier ones. It emits way more energy than the nuclear fission party we've been crashing. Plus, there's no radiation baggage. For decades, physicists around the world have been chasing this energy dream but to no avail. To get the pressure and energy needed to make these atomic buddies fuse is a tricky balancing act. Maybe this moon crystal is the missing puzzle piece. This crystal was aptly named Changes I Chengs, Y. A shout out to the awesome mission and the Chinese moon goddess Chang'e. These Beijing researchers are on a mission to figure out if this mineral powerhouse packed with fusion-ready helium-3, and if so, it might just be the answer to the global energy crisis. Earth might just be in for some out-of-this-world surprises. Exciting news is buzzing around, and even NASA's got its eyes glued to it. Just a chunk of 27.6 short tons of helium-3 and the entire U.S. could light up for a whole year. That's like stuffing a space shuttle with it. It's valued at a whopping $3 billion per short ton. The moon might be the next jackpot. It's like a cosmic goldmine waiting to be tapped. Imagine the Artemis program getting a turbocharge from all this lunar frenzy. It's like the moon's becoming a celestial hotspot. And we might witness a new space race right under our noses. While it is an amazing find, it does have some serious implications. If we have learned anything from history, energy sources have been a major source of wars throughout the centuries. However, by the time we managed to conduct nuclear fusion, there might have been enough political developments established to prevent any sort of conflicts. Regardless, China with its Chang'e 6 mission and NASA with its Artemis rover plans to collect more of these lunar samples, hoping to solve the mysteries of the moon one at a time.